one truth we must endeavor to live with is the fact that there is no old-fashioned truth. And there is no new generation truth. And if the word of God is truth, then the word of God must be ageless, timeless, constant, and eternal. For the word of God lives and abides forever. You don't connect with the old, you cannot experience the new. The new things we see, they are as triggered by the old light we connect with. You can't give birth until you are birthed. No one can birth himself. You are giving birth to, to give birth to others. Those who despise the old can't experience the new. Every scribe that is taught in the kingdom bringeth forth things old and new. Old and new. My prayer is that these seemingly old, out of fashion truth will decorate your life anew. The sun has not lost its potency since creation. Without sunlight, there cannot be plant life. Without plant life, there cannot be animal life. Old sun still producing new life. Oh, hallelujah. Except my covenant be done with the day and with the night. And I have not appointed the ordinance of heaven. Then we also my covenant with my servant, they will be broken. So every truth of scripture. endures for all time. Every truth of scriptures. Hey, listen. Parents who will not command their children today will have them become concerns tomorrow. I know him that will command his children, not nowadays children, his children. There's no nowadays truth. There's no nowadays truth. I'm glad to God that our children were perfectly under control. Under command, sir. I grew with my grandmother. You are not permitted to do what you like or what is right. You, are not, you don't have the liberty to do what you like. Except what is right. Except what is right. You mess up in covenant. You are out like Jigar. <laughs> That is, there is no feeling for nothing because the laws are there. You don't command your children today, they'll go haywire tomorrow, sir. The millions of them by the Spirit of God. You are smarter than, than tithing, your financial struggles is for life. For life. Because you are wiser than God. You hate prayer and fast because you have just located new software for it. You'll be powerless and vulnerable to all satanic manipulations and oppressions. No Christian can live an empowered life without subscription to the law of fasting and prayer. You can't see the power of God. I see high flyers here. They'll be rising in their numbers this year. <laughs> Lift up your two hands. Lord, grace to subscribe with delight to the demand of prayer and fasting so I can live an empowered life. I receive it now. Come on now, pray. Pray in one minute. 
No old fashioned truth. No new generation truth. Truth is truth. Take it or leave it. Somebody is praying from the depth of his heart. You can't afford to be just part of the crowd. It's time for you to take responsibility. It's time for us to take responsibility as individuals to make the most of this heavily loaded year. To make the most of this heavily loaded year. It's time to take responsibility. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. It's my year of breaking limits. That's also my portion in Christ. Say it loud. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Amen. Please get seated. Congratulations for being part of the fourth Sunday service in the year 2020. Everyone under the sound of my voice, you will arrive at the last Sunday of 2020 in your multiplied state, in your God ordained new status. And you'll be there the first Sunday of 2021 in the name of Jesus Christ. How many are still grateful to God for the events of 2019 in their lives? Come and say, Jesus, I thank you. Jesus. Why engage in prayer and fasting when you understand the values thereof? Your engagement will be with delight. Why engage? with prayer and fasting why engage with prayer and fasting one it is commanded when ye fast not if ye fast when Matthew chapter 6 and verse 16 when ye fast. When the bridegroom is taken away from them, then shall they fast in those days. Mark 2.20 It is commanded. Now, what then is the primary purpose of fasting? It is for the empowerment of believers. So we can live the overcomer's life. So we can live the overcomer's life. Why could we not cast that devil out? This kind. Go it not out, but by prayer and fasting. And there are many of such kinds today. That testimony read said, I saw my enemies and there were very many which is in line with scriptures. A great door is opened up to me but there are many adversaries. 
1 Corinthians 16, 9. From three scriptures, it's clear that fasting is primarily ordained for our empowerment. We saw Jesus return from that 40 day fasting expedition in the power of the Spirit. Luke 4 14. And his fame spread abroad the whole region. Is this not the fast that I have chosen? He said to lose the bands of wickedness. Power. To undo the heavy burdens. To let the oppressed grow free. And that he break every yoke. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. So fasting is ordained for our empowerment. So we can live the overcomers life. Psalm 63 verse 1 to 3. The Bible says. O oh Lord my God, only will I seek thee, my soul thirsted for thee, and my flesh longing. The longing of the flesh is fasting. To see the power. You cannot see his power without a thirst of the soul and a longing of the flesh. So fasting is ordained for our empowerment. So that we can tread upon serpents and scorpions and overrode the paths of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt us. Luke 10 19. So fasting is ordained for our empowerment. Now we're in the last days, and in the last days, which are ordained to be ruling in the midst of our enemies. Sit down at my right hand and I make the enemies their first too. He said, The Lord shall send forth the rod of his strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of the enemies. How? Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. So the last day. The last days are ordained the days of the raw manifestation of the power of God. When you hear the voice of a man coming from a paper, Kakaro Shakano Pradia from a paper, and you see the paper vibrating, you run for your life. A <laughs> wine in those early days. And the microphone, you know, I move about. The only way I do exercise is to move about when I'm preaching. So I was moving about and it was a wire microphone. So it's removed from the speaker and it was speaking. The, speaker, the man on the system was shaking as if he was in the spirit. <laughs> Amen. Raw power. Come and say raw power. We are in the days of the demonstration of the raw power of God that will empower us to rule in the midst of our enemies. If you know how much the devil is suffering torture because of this church, because you want to kill them, you can't kill them. You want to attack them, you can't attack them. You see, they are sick and you are shivering. So, how do we do? Satan said, Go there. Satan, you two, we need to go. We have tried to go there, we couldn't go. I think it will need you. I said, okay, allow me to be sent down for more time. If I go there, that will be the end of my throne. That's how you'll be feared. The same way all devils fear your church, they will fear your life. Yeah. Glory to God. That's not uh, phonetics. That's not grammar. That's power. What is it? Um, power is at the cost of prayer and fasting. Power is available. But at a cost. Now we are putting this prophetic focus on the website for your download. We are not printing. 
Amen. So you can have it on your phone anywhere you are. And then uh, do justice to it as you want. We will reduce our paperwork to bear this minimum. You can lose it at any time, but you will have it on your system. How many truly want to be empowered? How many want to stop their enemy from ruling over their life? How many want to take their destiny off the territory of their enemy? Then take delight in prayer and fasting. And you'll be empowered to rule in the midst of your enemy. Now, number two, the principal channel of empowerment is outbreak of revelation. Outbreak of revelation. Then your life shall break forth like the morning. Your light shall break forth as the morning. Outbreak of light. Why is this church not growing? First, second, and the third day, there was an outbreak of light that repositioned this church on the frequency of continuous and unending growth. Continuous and unending growth. My RT team last year brought 11,000 to this church and 8,700 are established. Amen. <laughs> and they're called loaded. Many are here right now. I know you brought some. I know you brought some. The Holy Ghost brought many. <laughs> the wind of God brought multitudes. Continue. Yeah. By light. Four striking instructions that came from heaven. Every stagnated lie will encounter light in these 21 days. <laughs> that was 1984 and the effect is shining brighter by the day. The encounter that will keep delivering all the days of your life, you will have it this month. Yeah. All you need is take personal responsibility. Most believers are lost in the crowd. God is blessing our church. That's okay. Is a blessing reflecting in your life. But this year, it will be clear <laughs> that God has visited you. <laughs> These 21 days of prayer and fasting shall be days of divine visitation for you. <laughs> I was in the first 1981 when I heard those awesome statements, among which is, you are absolutely responsible for the outcome of your life. And it came out of Isaiah 51, verse 1 to 3. Look to Abraham, your father, to Sarah the Beardi. I called him alone, 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 and blessed him, and increased him. For the Lord shall comfort Zion after the same order. Individuality, mentality. Individuality, mentality. Individuality, mentality. Even when a football team loses a contest, a match, you still find star players among them who get new contracts of higher worth. From the same team that failed, from the same team that failed, stars were identified. How much more belonging to a winning team? You have every potential to emerge a star. But most of us are just waiting for manna to draw from heaven. Nothing of value is free. 
nothing of value is ever free nothing of value is free from October 4, 1981, I took personal responsibility for the outcome of my life. No one to blame. No, look at the way you treated me. No. Treat yourself well. Treat yourself well. Face where you are going. Such encounters that will reposition you in life, you will have it this time. Yeah. That's why you heard in the announcement that we are the one night with the king will be with you as an individual of families. You need this personal encounter. Yes, you, you can't buy experience. You have to experience it. You can't buy experience. So it's your turn. I say it's your turn. Amen. When you understand the values of any commandment, you engage with delight. This is ordained primarily for my empowerment that will make me live the overcomer's life. The principal channel of this empowerment is outbreak of revelation. So I will engage in topical search. Topical search on issues of concern to me, not general search. Topical. Topic. You've been struggling with finance. Topical search. Locate materials of those who are not struggling with it and find out their secrets by the Holy Ghost. When he opens that to you, it's open. I knew I would never be poor through my topical search in a three-day fast in 1982 when God broke out with the mystery of prosperity to me. He said, my son David, my prosperity plan is not a promise. It does not answer to prayers. It's not a promise. There's no respect for fasting. My prosperity plan is a covenant and until your part is played, I'm not committed. I have never begged. I have never borrowed. I've never slept hungry. I've never worn rags. Somebody's going to have an encounter the only 21 days that will rewrite your story forever. If that is you, let me hear your loudest amen. It will rewrite your story forever. Someone is having an encounter in these 21 days, the first week, 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 the first week that we rewrite your story forever. So it's time to take personal responsibility. My old grandma will say, my son, face where you are going. 20 children don't play for 20 years. Face where you are going. Each one will keep fighting his class as they go on. Face where you are going. May this month be your most consecrated spiritual month since we knew Jesus. I was in the first when I heard the Lord that God bless you, I promise you, but you shall learn to many nations. But thou shall not borrow. But light broke out on all sides, and I entered into a covenant against borrowing till I die. October 481. I'm not indebted to any man living or dead. And your ministry has never been indebted. Has never been indebted. Has never been indebted. Somebody stepping into a new realm yeah. and it will be called the realm of no limit. Yeah. All your mockers will know you have stepped out of that former realm. Yeah. Why do we need fasting to experience outbreak of light? Because the devil is personally involved in resisting our access to light, in whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them that believe not, lest the light of the gospel of Christ the image of God shall shine unto them. So the God of the world is personally involved. And some of those kind will never go except by prayer and fasting. So every veil on your face that is making life a struggle for you, the veil shall be broken this month. 
Somebody believe that. Let me hear your loudest. Yeah. The primary purpose of fasting is our empowerment that will enable us to live the overcomers life. And the principal channel of this empowerment is outbreak of light. So when you are fasting, you are not only praying, you are also searching topically issues of interest to you, such as family unrest, marital delay and spells, business struggles, career struggles. You are just searching for light that will put you in command of those forces of darkness that are holding your life down. I went in search of the power behind Ezekiel on a three day fast on a mountain. The third day on my way back, on my way to close and get back home, my son David, I have taught your tongue with the coal of fire. From henceforth, as you say it, you see, 1977. Light is not about title or calling. We are redeemed as children of light. So we have access to the light of God by the Holy Ghost. Your struggle must end this time. Yeah. If you pick signs and wonders today, it has classified testimonies covering different areas. And you know, the testimonies of the Lord and the word of the Lord carry some potency. Carry some what? Then check through the testimonies of people who have been in your kind of situation and how God turned around and then plug your faith into it. Because every testimony of the Lord is a pointer to your heritage. You're out of it. Please engage with this prayer and fasting season with delight. It's not a punishment, it's for your thorough furnishing, it's for your decoration. And that's why all the prayer items for these 21 days of prayer and fasting is on the website. Like you had in the announcement. And all our kingdom advancement prayer outlines are all there. So to make the most of this season, please define your goals and objectives. I'll give you the first and second one. Your empowerment and your direct encounters with the world. On issues of interest to your life, then all of them ordinary things can follow. They're ordinary. When these two are in place, they're ordinary. When you are empowered, they're ordinary. The first is sitting on your destiny will clear their way. Amen. That's what it is. So it's no punishment, but an opportunity for a change of story. An opportunity for your change of story. An opportunity for your change of story. An opportunity for your change of story. This year will be worth more than 50 years in the lives of some people. You believe that? Let me hear your loudest, amen. There are some things I've seen in my life in terms of revelation and illumination that I may never have seen eating and drinking. I know God is not respect of persons. You see Jesus firing in the world on the month of temptation. It is written. It is written. Accuracy accuracy and then the devil left him everything resisting you will leave you this month somebody believe that let me hear your loudest amen you believe that let me hear your loudest amen now look at your chart today it has no human dependency from the beginning, sir. From the beginning. That somebody said, okay, I will form this. And then we are going to meet him. Excuse me. What you say you are going to form? You make a pledge. Nobody will ask you for life. Nobody will ask you because nobody even knows. Praise God. They may sum it up for purpose of record. But whether you do it or not, nobody will know. Nobody will ask. There's nobody who knows your name. You can even get welfare on top of it. 
you can get welfare upon unfulfilled, you know, vow that you are bigger than. You are bigger than the vow, so it's not even a vow. You are bigger than the vow when you are sitting down. A vow of 1,000 per month. And then you get welfare of 50,000. 50, Amen. Please engage with individuality consciousness. You won't go far without that. 1979, I told our brethren, I said, the time of brethren, let's go, it's over. I'm gone. If you're interested, I follow. I can't waste my own life, my only life, because of the carelessness. I know where I'm going, so I'm going. In case you're interested, you can follow. If you're interested, you can stay where you are. I've been going and going and going, and it's been wonderful. Amen. This fasting will make your going colorful. Yeah. This season will unveil the beauty of your destiny. Yeah. You believe it? Let me hear your loudest, amen. Yeah. So engage with a sense of opportunity, not a sense of punishment. You know, I would not have been in this if I were not a, uh, a zona minister. No, no, no. 21 days is too long. Okay, for who are you fasting? For yourself or for God? Wow. See your opportunity and jump at it. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Amen. We all know the year is very pregnant and it's pregnant in your favor. You won't miss your deliveries of the year. You shall not miss your deliveries this year. You shall not miss your deliveries this year. We are still in our fifth year of the prophetic wonder double visitation. And then, um, <clears throat> it's a year of strange testimony. Our year of testimonies of no limits. Yeah. We have done this illustration again and again, and I did that in the um, uh, Workers Summit of yesterday. He said, "Say many things you observe them not. They are locked up in holes because they don't observe the happiness of God around their lives." Our church began with 234 people in Lagos. And by the end of the fourth year, we were 3,000 plus. By the fifth year, we grew to 10,000 plus. Come on, say 50 years. Year. Say with me, the fifth year, 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 year wonder. The fifth year wonder. And so, from 10,000 plus, we shot up to 50,000 plus by the fifth year. 19, uh, 1999, 1994, 10,000, 1999, 50,000. Watch. Number of churches planted in this country by this Five thousand and eighty-two. Now, watch. This is ordained your fifty-year wonder. Yeah. This is ordained your fifty-year wonder. Yeah. That's the mystery of Leviticus chapter nineteen, verse twenty-three to twenty-five. It's not humanly arranged. It's just God. That wouldn't enter our plan. No, 5,000 5, choice won't enter our plan. And it, it didn't because it came in January. So it wasn't budgeted for. But the God of 50 year wonder is visiting you this year. And so the 50 year is on. It began in May. The fifth year is still actively on. And so, many four-feet tall people 
in the last four years we will reach 90 feet this year he said I have also spoken by the prophet I have multiplied visions and use similitudes or illustrations of scriptures by the ministry of the prophet we we'll see at chapter 12 and verse 10 somebody is self a flight if that is you let me hear your loudest amen yeah. say with me my fifth year wonder is here yeah. I am fasting my way into it yeah. I shall not make a joke of it Give the Lord the biggest clap offering. Thank you, Lord. Also, please note that not everybody on the street is just a person. When a man is very strong in those days when I was growing up, it's a three in one. Amen. It's a three in one powerful man. And then as time grew, some communities began to name a Legberon. That is a thousand commander. A commander of thousands. A commander of thousands. Now we saw in scriptures. After that single encounter that David had with Goliath and brought him down, he became a thousand and one personality. Saul as slain is one thousand and David is what? Ten thousand. So he become a thousand and one personalities. Now in Second Samuel chapter 18 verse 3, they said don't go with us. If you flee, nobody will claim. We care. If of us of us die, nobody will die. But now you are more than ten thousand of us. So they became ten thousand and one personality by one singular act. Now, in the name of Jesus, that kind of act that will turn you to a ten thousand and one personality is hitting you this time. Amen. Amen. A word will come from heaven that will announce many to their world. An instruction will come down to you that will change your story forever. Amen. You know, we're going to distribute this land to farmers. The building was for the future. Hello? Yes, sir. And suddenly God came and said, September 18, 1989, the tabernacle shall be dedicated. Eh? We are just looking for farmers in our church <laughs> to distribute the land to, to when we need it. And suddenly, CNN located us yeah. as we arrive here. Amen. Boom. One light from heaven that would change your story forever, you will encounter it in this 21 days of temple. There is nowhere in the church world today where the name of this church is not there. Including the Vatican. Including the Vatican. One instruction. Just one. Not only that, Many personalities will rise here that will be likened to a strong nation. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one is strong. Small one means he has no identity. Shall emerge a strong nation by light. By what? What would you have me do, Jesus? I don't know what else to do on this matter. And life. And then the heavens opened. That shall be your spirit. 
I'm saying all this to ignite your appetite for a delightsome engagement all through the 21 days of prayer and fasting. So you won't be looking at the time, you'll be looking up to God. That, oh my God. Oh gosh. <laughs> it's only 12. No. Stomach. It's Papa. It's Papa. If not for Papa, that what he said. I will have eaten now. <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> Somebody looked at me many years ago in Kano. He came to confess that later. He said, Would this man kill himself? Would this man kill himself? I'm not dead. <laughs> Amen. Except a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it abides alone. But if it dies, it brings forth much fruit. After these 21 days, you'll be bringing forth much fruit. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Remember the prophetic focus for the month is prayer and fasting gateway to breaking limits. Every limit the devil has placed on your life in any area of your life shall be broken in this first week. Our next Sunday has been declared your enough is enough service. Enough is enough. Pack your luggage and go. I am a no go area for you. I've been empowered to tread upon you and all the powers that you have, and you have no power to hurt me. Enough is enough. So everything chasing after you for evil will get off your back. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. amen. So not everybody you meet on the seat is a mister. Many are misters in one. A thousand in one, ten thousand in one, a strong nation in one. Not every missus you meet on the street is one missus. It's many missuses. Can I hear your amen? amen? Those are the manifestations in store for this year. Amen. Can I hear your loudest amen? amen? Give the Lord a big hand of praise. We are in the last days, the reigning days of the church. Rule thou in the midst of the enemies. You have come into the day of his power. And one of the facilitators of his power is prayer and fasting. We are in the last days, the days of the raw manifestation of his powers. And Jesus speaking said, can you make the children of the bridegroom to fast while the bridegroom is to them? But the days come when the bridegroom will be taken away from them. Then shall they fast in those days. So the rainy days of the church is the fasting days of the church. That's why every great church you ever read about in your life is a fasting church. The rainy days of the church is the fasting days of the church. He said it three times. Jesus said it three times. So if you want to be part of the rainy days of the church, then you better enjoy being part of, being part of the fasting days of the church. Then shall they fast in those days. Then shall they fast in those days don't get to that point but in 1985 i was virtually in a fast organ uh, you know planned and unplanned just enjoying myself in god's presence 
January 1, 1986. I was vomiting raw blood. You can transmit it immediately. He said, you don't need any laboratory purification. It was blood. My wife was there. I said, we need to go home. I said, no, no, no. If this will be the last service, I must go to heaven in active service. Like, you can't be empowered. Okay. The church, in many parts, have lost the dignity of God's presence. In God's presence, you can't do that in area court. But in the name of Jesus. This year will be your most disciplined spiritual year. And I pray that your prophetic package for this year, another man will not take. Let me hear your loudest amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Very quickly, how do I maximize these 21 days of prayer and fasting? First, define your goals and objectives. God does not respond to ambiguities, he responds to specifics. Bartimaeus was crying, almost caught in his throat. Have mercy, have mercy. He said, Wait, what exactly do you want? So that I may receive my sight. <laughs> receive your sight. I don't respond to ambiguities, I respond to specifics. You may hide from anybody else, don't hide from God, though. Tell him what is not in line with his word in your life and what must I do to line up. Tell him what inheritance in Christ you have that's not manifesting in your life and ask him what must I do. I've done what I know, but I know if I know what I should know, I will not be under this condition. Tell him, be specific. Settle down today to define your objectives in specific, specific terms. Yes, you want to be empowered. Yes. You desire to make of revelations. Yes. In what areas? We don't serve an anyhow God. And anyhow approach we not deliver. What must I do to maximize? Engage with your heart. You shall see for me and find me when you shall search for me with all your heart. Don't mind your grammar. Don't mind the finding of your, you know, phonetics. Engage with your heart. In your dialect, Uluwao. Shall not for me. Just approach him as raw as you are. Engaging your heart. Psalm 27 verse 8. When thou seest seek my face, my heart says, thy face, O God, will I see. And I was praying. Our words were not hard. Only our lips moved. And God had them. Had her. And gave us some way because I've asked him of the Lord with my heart. I was only pouring my soul unto God. I'm not drawn. So engage your heart with every prayer I tell you pray. Be specific about it. Number four. 
serve all your prayer by praying in the Holy Ghost. It helps you to pray according to the will of God. Jude 20. Serve all your prayer by praying in the Holy Ghost. And you pray in the Holy Ghost, you are praying according to the will of God. Romans 8, 26 and 27. To maximize this fasting season, engage in a topical search in any area of concern to you. I went for three days for light on kingdom prosperity. I came back from it knowing that I've encountered the light required to be a financial commander. March 1982. Lord, what and what do we need for a huge free launch into full-time ministry? And they were praying and he said, my son, you have two eyes. I said, yes, sir. Can you make one to look up and one to look down? I tried. It didn't work. I know you have tried this several times. <laughs> See, anytime you are looking onto man, never claim to be looking onto me. But if you fix your eyes on me, you'll never be ashamed. Woo! So before I would be trapped, he has set me free. Nobody has ever said to me, come and see me tomorrow. I tell you in the name of Jesus and in truth. Nobody has ever said to me, can you see me tomorrow? I'm too busy for that. Yet we have not lacked one thing. One, one thing. We have not begged for one thing. We are not owing anybody living out there. A ministry of this magnitude has never old, never old, never old, never old. Not that we buy a car from you and they'll be paying small, small. No. But you can pay totally. You don't buy. Amen. Amen. You know, we have never bought any aircraft in this ministry on uh, pay as you go. <laughs> no, no, no. If you buy another one tomorrow now, it's cash. It's not that. Uh, we are coming, we are going. Amen. The encounter that will decorate your life forever, you will have it in this season. So if you have challenges with breakthrough, read anointing for breakthrough. We are in the season of empowerment. Amen. You have financial challenges, read understand financial prosperity. Don't read all the others, just read only one. Praise God. And you'll be freer than air from financial struggles. This is your year. Amen. Let me hear your loudest, amen. amen. This how to maximize this awesome season. And you will maximize it. Amen. The testimonies of this fast will be happening from tomorrow. Amen. How many can see their own coming? Somebody will step into one realm of light tomorrow. Yeah. There shall be outbreak of revelation that will terminate everyone's frustration. Yeah. Just one encounter. Turn David to a thousand to ten thousand and one as a teenager. As a teenager. So it covers all people. At the age of 75, one encounter with light turned Abraham to generational blessing. Turned Abraham to, at the age of 75. At the age of 80, 80, 80, light came down from heaven and turned Moses to the greatest mortal man that ever lived until Christ came. One with whom I speak face to face as a man speaks with his friend. The only mother man who had access to the creation story with accuracy, never to be aborted. God called him and said, Moses, come, let me tell you how I created the world. Start writing. That, that, 
happened at the age of 80. So from 17 to 80, you are a candidate for no limits. I said from 17 to 80, you are a candidate of no limit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your right hand and give God thanks. And grace me for maximum engagement with these 21 days of prayer and fasting. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. No assumptions. It will be your greatest time. This season shall be your greatest time. Set your face like a flint. I must not miss this opportunity. I refuse to miss this opportunity. I shall not toy with this opportunity. I'm determined to make the most of this opportunity. Amen. 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 Give the Lord a big clap offering. You are here in this service today and you are not born again yet. I'd like to pray with you. Wherever you are in this sanctuary, you want to say yes to Jesus and be listed among the living and secure eternity with Christ in heaven, lead your commerce life on the earth. I made the most of this fast and that's starting tomorrow. Please stand to your feet and I'll pray with you. God bless you, many more rise. God bless you. You want to be saved today, please turn. You want to be born again today, please turn. Amen. There are also people here that need to rededicate their lives to Christ and have a great start in this new year. Not off and on, cold and hot, but standing fast with God and maximizing the benefits of new birth. If you are here, you want to rededicate your life to Christ. A double minded person shall stay in all his ways. Let no that man think he shall receive anything from God. You want to rededicate your life to Jesus today. You want to stage a combat in full force to Jesus. Wherever you are, stand to your feet also. I pray with you at the same time. Everyone that wants to de rededicate his life to Christ, please stand. Stand to your feet, stand to your feet, stand to your feet, be blessed. Amen. Now, everybody standing both in the first and second call, please move to the nearest call to where you, point to where you are, the nearest eye to where you are. Some church officials are beckoning to you right now, and I'll be praying for you on that spot. While you are filling your cards, please ushers. Make available to everyone in this service today. Amen. Welcoming on winners to 2020, our year of breaking limits. And unveiling vision 2020 for the winners family. And 2020 winners personalized prophetic declarations. These three publications please make available to everyone in this service right now. I'm also glad to let you know the sticker for the year breaking limits. 2020 is out. 
both the ones for your doors, the ones for your cars, um, they are made available, quality materials, 50 naira each. Praise the Lord. Endeavor to avoid um, anything you see around, hanging around in town because of the poor quality. Some individuals had these stickers and under two weeks, they are all gone. This is available in the church and we have more than enough to cover everybody. So please get your copies and be baptized to the wonders of this commission in the year 2020 in the name of Jesus. Wherever this sticker is cited, it will be a no-go area for the devil, a no-go area for demon forces, a no-go area for agents of the devil in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, everybody standing for these prayers, please bow your heads for a moment. Lift up your right hand before the Most High God and pray this simple prayer of faith after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you today. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me. On the third day you rose again, that I may be justified. Right now, I believe that my sins are forgiven. I'm justified by your blood. I'm saved. I'm restored back to the faith. I am now a child of God. I am free from the power of sin to serve the living God all the days of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Thank you, Jesus, for engracing me today to live the overcomer's life. I will serve you all the days of my life. So help me, Jesus. Amen. Now, be blessed in the name of Jesus. No going backward for you. You have stepped into the kingdom of light. You never step back into the kingdom of darkness anymore. In the name of Jesus. I cover each of you with the blood of Jesus. You will run this race to the end. You will make heaven at the end of your journey. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Congratulations. Congratulations. And congratulations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please make sure your forms are completed and submitted to the kingdom friends around you. Jesus is Lord. Have we all received our copies? Now, only those who have not received should talk. Have we all received our copies? Please, ushers, plenty of no's around. Serve them now, please. Serve them now. Please, shall we all rise, please? Let the stewards please in their positions as we serve the table of the Lord right now. First Kings chapter 19 and verse 5 to 8 is the word we are taking to this table right now. As Elijah lay and slept under a juniper tree, behold, 